Hey, welcome back everybody. So uh, recently I finished building a IS-2 heavy tank for the Soviets. And in the kit it indicated that you got eight you got eight tank riders. Uh, unfortunately, you don't actually get eight tank riders. You just get a sprue of eight infantry soldiers. So what we're going to be trying to do in this video is we're going to try to turn this sprue into tank riders. Now, I've done a little bit of research, which is another word for saying I Googled something. <laughs> Yeah, I like how people always claim they did research when all they did was a Google search. But so I did a Google search and basically I guess there's two types of tank riders you can go for from the people I've seen that's done them successfully. So if you look at here, this is a set done by one of the staff members at Warlord Games showing what he accomplished with his tank riders. Now basically all he did was pose the figures around here use some blue tack to make sure that that was going to be a good spot and then later on he he kind of modified the arms and hands and that's typically uh from what i can see that's typically what you're going to be doing is you're going to mainly be modifying the arms and hands now in my instance i actually want to use uh a different set or style of tank riders and I'm going to show you a pictures of the ones I want to use and I'm, I'm actually thinking I may try to combine the two but the ones I'm looking at are let me see if I can get this this gentleman credit if I can find his name on here uh, come on okay come on Okay, one second. Uh, I don't know, I don't really see his name on the article, but it's an article that I found at uh, War Game Soldiers and Strategy. I think it's Steve McLaughlin is what it says. Okay, I see that now. And I'm going to show you what Steve did. So this is his tank riders. And he basically turned them into markers. So that he has three markers with three figures each that can be lifted off and placed back on the tank as tank riders. So that's what I really want to go for. Now, the thing about Steve's markers is it looks like all of his have to ride on the back. Whereas if we go back to this one done by the uh, staff member at Warlord Games, you've got some guys on the side and the front. And even in the corner there. So what I'm thinking is I'm, I might create this little bundle as a marker for the back. And then we'll also do separate ones on the sides and uh, rear like that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to get these uh, bodies off of these sprues and see which ones we're going to be able to work with. Okay, so we're going to start with the easy stuff first, which might be an understatement, but uh, to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, uh, where's my pointer stick? So these are just your basic models. I haven't modified anything, just their legs and their knees are bent. So they obviously would make great tank riders. Uh, what we need to do now is, if we can keep him up here is we need to find a way to connect their arms to the tank or the uh, the bars on the tank to make it appear as if they're uh, holding on. I guess I should have used the glue tack, but I'm, I'm not sure where I want these at yet, so I haven't really bothered with the glue tack. But anyway, so we see, you can see them there. So I figure I need an arm that's going to be sticking straight out, but I need a hand that's going to be turned down, kind of like that, with my big old hand. Uh, so I'm going to use this arm, but I'm going to take this hand off of this arm and, and put it on there. 
So I'm going to reattach this hand to that other arm. And that should give me my first, kind of my first arm with them, uh, that can make it look like he's holding it. Uh, so I'll let you guys know how that comes out. I just wanted to show you those two pieces in case you're doing this on your own and you're like, oh, where'd he find that piece? Okay, as you can see, I'm a little bit further along. So I've got the arms and the hands on two of these guys. I wasn't able to get him as close as I wanted to to this guy like I showed you in the marker. But I may put a third dude in the middle here and that would kind of clear that up. What I'm going to do next is put a weapon in his hand. So I am going to be using this, uh, this arm here. And then I'm going to put just a uh, submachine gun in it as if he's holding it up. His hand is going to be a little bit more difficult, so I'm not going to do it yet because I don't have enough space to put it on his shoulder. I can't get it on the hall. So I'm either going to wind up having it maybe with a gun down here toward the bottom or I'll have him touching the guy that I put in the middle. Now for the middle from one of the markers, this looks like the best figure to use because his legs are kind of wide open. And if you model his arms, we can get his arms touching both of them. And so I'm going to try that out and then I'll let you guys know how that comes out. Okay, so we're pretty much completed. This is the finished rider, tank rider markers. Uh, I did a couple of arm conversions on this guy here. The biggest one probably being this arm. And all I really did was take the arm as it was and I cut it off at the elbow and then I just turned it over and re-glued it back on. So that gave me this kind of nice look as if he was hugging his fellow, uh, his fellow uh, rider. And I gave him the commander's hat to kind of look like he's commanding. I Once I got him where I wanted him, then I finally picked a weapon and an arm to stick in there on this guy. And then I put him, I, I repositioned him. These have been, he has been crazy glued to these two dudes. And I actually used some accelerant because they were, they kept coming off. So I wanted to make sure that I could hold that position. But if everything works right, and I have not done this off camera yet, I should be able to just lift these guys off and have a tank rider marker. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. Those are my tank riders. And, you know, I can put them on this tank, move them over there a little bit. Now, if I wanted to do some more tank riders, uh... You know, I could, I could model this one here and model that one there. Uh, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Uh, I'm actually kind of satisfied with this marker. Uh, because the problem with doing these is, you know, if you do these guys, you're going to have to glue them to the tank. They're not going to stay like that on their own. This one being a marker... As it is, this, this middle group that I just finished, because it is a marker, as I said, uh, I can just lift it off whenever I feel like. I mean, I can even put some equipment here. I can put another guy. I even got enough room to put a guy on a base there or a guy off a base. I may do another one. I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to get this video up for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciated that. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever shown you how to do that or how you can pull it off on YouTube or on video. There are some articles on the internet and you can look them up. Take care.